from Walmart and their exclusive line of Transformers G1 reissues. This is the Transformers the movie version of Skywarp. Basically the G1 Skywarp toy given some deco changes and even a mold change to make him more similar to the original cartoon design. I've already looked at Thundercracker. They released a Starscream in this line. It actually would have been the first one out. And as you can see here on the box, it depicts Skywarp coming into the shuttle. He's probably getting ready to... Let's see here. Who did he kill? I'm pretty sure he just helped kill Ratchet and Ironhide. Because I remember for a fact it was Scavenger that killed Prowl. And Megatron killed Brawn. But yeah, we're ready to see all of our favorite characters get gunned down today, baby. So Skywarp, good looking box. Here on the side, just the same thing. Here on the back, it's the same blurb we got before. You can see down here though, there was a change to his tech spec bio. So, function, warrior, strike when the enemy isn't looking. Skywarp may be the sneakiest of Decepticons, but his strength wasn't enough to save him from the clutches of Unicron. Uh, I mean... I guess the clutches that Unicron had on his corpse? I don't know, I don't feel like you get to say, oh wow, he wasn't that sneaky when the dude found his dead body? Uh, the point is, you know, he's maybe Cyclonus. Is this the video where we get into the who is Cyclonus debate? Because for me, I've always thought Skywarp is Cyclonus. I know that Bombshell was in the front. I think it makes more sense for it to be Skywarp and Thundercracker to be Scourge. But at the same time, it's an animation error from a movie that's like... How old is that movie now? Like 38 years old? So, you know, maybe today is not the day to get into it. Maybe the day of today is just to open the toy finally. Here's how the toy comes packaged. And yeah, it's just as weird here as it was with Thundercracker. I just want this to be known now because I did just do a Thundercracker review of this mold. I'm probably going to repeat myself just a little bit, but I'm also probably not going to go as much in depth with a bunch of things, just in the order of saving time. But Skywarp here, this is what he looks like once you get him out of the box and properly transform him. Uh, the Seeker mold from G1 is infamous because of how much parts forming it has. So, in terms of accessories, you have two missile launchers, and then you have two null ray missiles. These are for the robot mode. You have two vehicle mode missiles. These are for the vehicle mode, as I just said. You have the stock and the gun bit of a Walter P-38, aka Megatron's gun mode. They connect like that. We have two hands for Skywarp. We have two tail wings. Got some more tail fins. And then we have the landing gear. So aside from the landing gear and one of the sets of missiles, all that has to go on the robot mode to complete it. There's a reason why it's hard to find complete original G1 Seekers. It's because, um, well, kids lose the pieces. So for this, we're going to... Oop, come on. Having to straddle not just my tripod, but also my new light. So we're putting the hands on. And now we are putting on... The guns. Boop. And boop. We're going to put on the robot missiles, I think. Oh, come on. There we go. And now, boop. Let's put on the tail fins. Boop, 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 boop. The way to do that is, oop. As you can see, the toes are not really wanting to work with me right now. We're going to put these guys on the back. They're always going to stay put. And then these guys are going to go forward like this. They'll actually move during transformation. Do I just put... No, I put those on right. So in robot mode, there is a gap that's going to be shown. But that's so that it can be complete in jet mode. There we go. And like that, you have your Skywarp. Articulation is a complete myth here. You have a universal joint for the arm, but it does get kind of um, restrained by the wing and also the design of the torso. Other than that, uh, there's nothing. I'm going to give you this trick right now, though. This landing gear, you need it for the jet mode to be complete. The only piece that you need to have at least a physically complete seeker that doesn't have a place in the robot mode is this. You know what you need to do with it? Open up the cockpit, put it in the cockpit, here, close up the cockpit, 
Oh no, wait a minute. Why is this not going in? I just did this with Thundercracker. There we go. And, oop, the missiles are going. There. Now we have the landing gear taken care of. And you can also see an issue I have with this sky warp, same as with the Thundercracker. The missiles are on a hair trigger. Speaking of the missiles, there's actually a little um, mechanism here on the side of the gun. You just push it. There it goes. If you want to use the other missile, all you have to do is take it out like this. Replace. And yeah, uh, ever since the 80s, they've elongated this missile for safety concerns. As you can see, it looks pretty bad. So why don't we just pretend that that doesn't exist and keep the kind of cool looking missiles in. Alongside that, you do have another accessory that being the Walter P-38 pistol. It doesn't fit in Skywarp's hand, but that's because there's actually a pretty clever trick. You can see you take in half, you can put the top half here, but then if you look at the bottom of the hand, missile's coming out, they've added a little cube there for you to put the rest of the pistol in. Oop. And, ah, uh, it's not wanting to go. There we go. Can I have to, ah, oh, wow. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, it literally forces itself right back out. There we go, it's working that time. Um, it looks really dumb and goofy, but you know, if you want it, you can do it, I guess. And besides, I'm sure Skywarp is happy that he finally gets to hold Megatron. Feels like only Starscream ever gets to do that. Well, now he gets to, because he's a big boy. All right, now let's tackle transformation. To transform him, we're gonna take off the guns, and we're gonna take off the hands. Come on, Skywarp. Ah, oh, there we go and the other hand and then we're going to open the canopy and get the landing gear out and then we're going to take off the wings until so you're left with this this husk of a robot uh now we are going to take the hand the head rather flip it up like it's a cone head and then just start massaging this so that we can get the right angle to send the head through the torso like so that's going to give you the front of your jet mode Oop, it's not wanting to quite go for me Come on. What are you hitting? Ah, there we go. And then we're going to take the arms, flip them back here to make up. Mm. Well, the joints are nice and tight on Skywarp. At least there's that. Boop. Up. And then we're going to flip these back and flip the feet up. And boom, you have a worm. Now let's add the other pieces back on. So wings on there. And the missiles on the bottom. Up, oh, I probably just lost that. We'll try to find it in a minute. And then the missile launcher, right. Not the missile launcher, the landing gear right there. Uh, as you can see, oh, there is the other missile. As you can see, no nowhere to put the hands because the g1 secret toy was not thinking that 20 years from now people would care in all seriousness though this is a beautiful jet the shapes are all perfect i love the colors here the g1 seeker jet is always a great jet it only looks better in skywarp colors to be fair the proper skywarp like from g1 i think does have a better color scheme because it has a dark purple this is more of the cartoon accurate more lilac purple I'm really glad to have it because it's kind of rare to get that purple on a Skywarp. That said, I do think the dark purple looks better just in terms of the toy. Even still, still a beautiful jet. Still really like this. And I think that as wonky as the G1 Seeker robot is, the jet mode definitely comes to its rescue. Getting the Thundercracker from this line in here with Skywarp, and yeah, these two look good together because Seekers always look good together. Even if the robot modes aren't what we'd expect nowadays, even if they're too simple even for their own good, even if the part swarming is a nightmare, even if the toy colors maybe look a bit better than the cartoon colors, it doesn't matter. Because Skywarp and Thundercracker together is always going to look good. 
and I do like these molds. I'm so happy to finally have them. I'm happy that they're trying a new look so that if you already have G1 toys, you can get this and have a new experience with them. They are the best of both worlds. I would definitely recommend either one of these Seekers, or both, if you're a weirdo like me. And like I said, they also did Starscream just like this. He was the first one out. He comes with all the same accessories. But no matter which one you get, you're going to be able to experience one of the most famous G1 toys of all time, and also one of the more troubled. But at the end of the day, sometimes troubled is what gives you character.